Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. I'm getting ready to cast on another pair of rebound socks. But before I do, I need to wind my yarn into a cake, or rather into two cakes. These socks are knit with Shoppel Das Par yarn. And even though this looks like a single hank, it's actually two matching hanks twisted together. That allows you to knit two socks with matching color patterns. So I'm just going to remove the label on the yarn and then let's head over to my work table and I'll show you how to separate the hanks and wind them into matching cakes. Before we begin, if you'd prefer ad-free access to every tutorial in our searchable and neatly organized library, head over to thechilidog.com and join our pack. A basic membership unlocks all of our content or treat yourself to that, plus free patterns, including all of our new releases and more. We're gonna start things off by untwisting our hank and setting it onto our swift. Once you get everything spread out, you'll notice that there are two yarn ties on your hank. On one side, the two yarn ties are just holding the two hanks apart. The other tie, actually the two hanks are connected to each other. You can see here that this one, it's keeping them separated, but they're also connected to each other. That's the one that I'm going to cut first. I'm just going to snip that one and then I can begin winding my first cake of yarn. And it doesn't really matter which end you pull from, just as long as for the first cake and the second, you're gonna pull from the same color. So I think I'm gonna use the yellow. Get it onto my ball winder. I'm just going to wind slowly until I get to that first tie. When I get to the first tie, I know which one of the hanks this yarn belongs to. So that is the tie that I'm going to cut. I'll leave the other ties on for now. So then I can just go ahead and wind until my first cake is completely wound. So after I finish winding my first cake, I can take it off my ball winder, and then I am ready to wind the second cake. But again, I need to cut these two ties. So this is the tie that's just holding the yarn. This is the tie that was connected to the other hank. Untangle those. And since I started winding with the yellow end on the first hank, I'm gonna start with the yellow end on this one as well. When I get to the end of the second cake, again, I can just lift it off my ball winder. My two cakes are gonna match up. Before I start knitting, there's one last thing I like to do, and that's just to make sure that the color changes at the same point in both yarns. I'm gonna find the transition here where it goes from the first color into the second on one skein, and then do the same thing on the second skein and just kind of match them up because it's quite possible that maybe I snipped not quite at exactly the same place when I was disconnecting the two hanks from each other. So I'll just line up the color change, 
pull back the yarns until I get to the beginning and just make sure that those two ends line up. And they'll probably be pretty close. That's just a little bit off. I'll just go ahead and break it since I can't find my scissors. So now I know they're both the same length and I can go ahead and start knitting my socks. I hope you enjoyed learning how to wind Shoppel Das Par yarn into two matching cakes. If you'd like to use this yarn in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for my rebound socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.